Okay, we've got huge breaking news right now on Twitter. Apparently, President Biden is saying that he will step aside as a candidate. This is just coming across on social media right now, breaking news, and we'll address the country later this week about next steps. He intends to fulfill the remainder of his term. <sighs> so, yeah, it seems to be official, guys. It seems that it's finally happened. The people, the very people who scream about democracy, democracy, democracy have just pushed out, have just uh, uh, formed a coup against the democratically elected Joe Biden. It's official. All right, we've got some major breaking news. According to multiple reports, President Biden has dropped out of the 2024 race, uh, a stunning end to a 50-year-long political career. For all of you just tuning in, we've been hearing the reports, the multiple sources saying that Joe Biden would step aside. He has been isolating with COVID, but now according to multiple, multiple reports, Joe Biden has dropped out of the 2024 race. A Biden apparently announced announcing he will no longer seek another four years in office after his physical and mental acuity were called into question following, of course, that disastrous primetime debate, 90 minutes. There's also been some reports, uh, Democrats uh, saying that he uh, forgot their names. One gentleman saying that he had known Joe Biden for years, was his mentor, and that Joe Biden didn't know who he was at that point. Again, Biden has been withstanding uh, weeks of mounting pressure from top Democrats such as Barack Obama to Nancy Pelosi to Chuck Schumer, you name it, there has been word, these top Democrats telling Joe Biden he simply cannot win, he must step aside. But then there's also been reports that he refuses to endorse Kamala Harris. We've got a lot of breaking news to cover. Again, if you're just tuning in, the stunning announcement, according to multiple reports, despite Joe Biden staying, saying he would stay in the race, we are now hearing that Joe Biden has announced that he is stepping aside from the race. So, yeah, um, it's official. He has dropped out of the race and he uh, released a statement. Well, his assistants released a statement. We all know Joe didn't actually type this up. I'll read it for you guys. So here it is. My fellow Americans, over the past three and a half years, we have made great progress as a nation. Um, no, we haven't. That has That is an absolute lie. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Today, America has the strongest economy in the world. <laughs> We've made historic investments in rebuilding our nation and lowering prescription drug costs for seniors and in expanding affordable health care to a record number of Americans. We've provided critically needed care to a million, to a million veterans exposed to tox toxic substances, passed the first gun safety law in 30 years, appointed the first African-American woman to Supreme Court, and passed the most significant climate legislation in the history of the world. America has never been better positioned to lead than we are today. I know none of this could have been done without you, the American people. Together, uh, we overcame a once-in-a-century pandemic, pandemic, and the worst economic crisis since the Great Depression. We've protected and preserved our democracy, and we've revitalized and strengthened our alliances around the world. That has been the greatest honor of my life to serve as your president. And while it has been my intention to seek re-election, I believe it is in the best interest of my party and the country for me to stand down and focus solely on fulfilling my duties as president for the remainder of my term. I will speak to the nation later this week in more detail about my decision. For now, let me express my deepest gratitude to all those who have worked so hard to see me reelected. I want to thank Vice President Kamala Harris for being an extraordinary partner in all this work. And let me express my heartfelt appreciation to the American people for the faith and trust you have placed in me. I believe today what I always have, that there is nothing America can't do when we do it together. <clears throat> we just have to remember we are the United States of America. Now, obviously, we know Joe didn't type that up. One of his assistants did. 
But you know what? What I find funny about this, and like, and I, I I said it earlier, is that the same party that screams democracy, 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 just forced out a democratically elected individual. Now there's rumors that he is refusing to endorse Kamala Harris, but there's going to be a problem with that. Uh, Sonny Hostin actually uh, had made a statement on it. I'll see if I can find the video. Uh, I wasn't prepared for this video. Obviously, this video or this news just came out of left field. And, you know, I just was like, oh, well, start recording, you know, kind of deal. Um, but Sonny Hostin actually had mentioned something about if Joe Biden steps down, then Kamala better be the person next in line because they aren't going to vote for anybody else other than Kamala, people are going to revolt. Now, do I necessarily believe that? Mm, not really. I do think Democrats are just going to vote for whoever's on a Democratic ticket regardless, uh, just because they're Democrats and they just follow the leader on that side of the political aisle. Um, but I do think there will be some people who will revolt against the Democratic Party, the Democrat Party, um, if they don't push Kamala into that position. If they put another white man, right? Because that's the greatest threat to America, right? <laughs> that's what they've been telling us. And yet the leader of their party is a white guy. It's kind of ironic that that works. But if they don't put Kamala in his place, I do think they're going to have a problem. How big that problem is going to be, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. But I do think they will have a problem. My question to you all, who do you guys think they're going to put in Joe Biden's place? Let me know. My guess is I feel like Kamala's obviously closer to the top of the list. But if I had to put somebody at number one, and I've seen some things alluding to it online, I think they might try to put Hillary up there. Run Hillary again. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's what I, that's the rumor that's that's been out there. I'm not saying it's the greatest idea in the world, but I think Hillary Clinton has a strong. Um, I, I I think it's it, there's a strong probability that it will be Hillary. If it's not Kamala, it'll probably be Hillary because they can cover up the whole you know black woman. We're skipping over the black woman by hey look we got a woman, look guys it's a woman hey you know kind of deal. I don't think they'll be able to get away with it if they put up Gavin Newsom or something, right? First off, Gavin Newsom has some major issues because of the way California actually looks. Um, but then also, he's a white straight male. So good luck with that one from the party that focuses on on race. <laughs> and yeah, I, I just, I think it's going to be Hillary. Hillary won, Kamala two, a third... <sighs> And it'd be a distant third would be Michelle or Michael, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> and Obama actually called her Michael once. So, hey, um, that's 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 my top three. That's my top three that they're going to put as the president. And it's going to be interesting what they decide to do and how they decide to do it. Because also, you know, if the party elites just select some just select someone then that kind of pushes the voters to the side and that could also create an issue. So I don't know, guys, what, what do you guys think? Let me know. Let me know. Um, I'll probably make another video on this later on as more information comes out, obviously. But I just wanted to get the information to you guys because um, I, I I was shocked. I mean, not completely shocked, but I, I was definitely shocked a little bit because I thought Joe Biden's ego would keep him in the race. But that's all I want to talk to you guys about. He's done. He's officially out of there. What comes next? I don't know. Y'all talk to me. Stay safe out there. Peace and love. I'm out.